Now to give you an idea of what you're about to see, we're going to have the Typhoon and the Spitfire. The Spitfire leaves the Typhoon and then the Typhoon will go into its display from there. Now the flight has been based at RAF Collingsby since 1976 and Collingsby is home to the Typhoon and has three frontline Typhoon squadrons as well as 29 squadron, the operational conversion unit and 41 squadron. As many of you will know that the Typhoon flying today is from 29 operational conversion unit squadron. That said before, so we're over in the RAF village. There is a virtual reality headset, so we've been working hard behind the scenes to try and make all of this happen. And uh, been working with the Lancaster crews to try and get you some footage of actually what it's like to fly in a Lancaster. Now I'm sure everybody would like to jump in it and uh, I too myself would enjoy that as well. However, we've got the next best thing. So what we've got are these VR headsets that you can put on and you'll be sat directly behind the crew. It's full 360 and you can actually fly the approach to East Midlands Airport and you'll see what the crews go through and where the navigator's looking, where the flight engineer's looking and where the pilot and co-pilot are. Gentlemen, I've just had the call to say it's going to be a crowd rise arrival. So if you look to your right hand side, get your cameras ready and get ready for a massive cheer as we welcome the Typhoon and Spitfire display for Cosford 2022. That is one incredible sight. Now what we can see there is a Spitfire keeping the power on. He's calling Flight Lieutenant Paddy O'Hare, telling him which way he's going to direct the next turn. And you can see Paddy in a very high alpha maneuver. So the Typhoon is actually flying extremely slow for the aircraft. And so Paddy has to be very gentle on the controls, making sure he keeps in perfect line of stern in the formation today. Now they're going to be turning left, so you're going to get a perfect shot now of the elliptical wing of the Spitfire and that incredible Union Jack underneath the Titan. who have given their lives in the service of the Royal Air Force. As that symphony of engines subsides slightly, the hairs in the back of my neck are still standing up. I'm not sure if there is a more evocative or stirring sound. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Our flight's motto is less we forget. And we hope that you will see us throughout the display season for 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the Typhoon and Spitfire break. And please give a big cheer for Royal Air Force Battle of Memorial Flight for 2022. software 
from one standard to another literally overnight while typhoons were on deployment to Cyprus Operation Shader, the UK contribution to the fight against the so-called Daesh or so-called Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. Typhoon's first air-to-air -air victory, which was an aircraft on Operation Shader that shot down a small hostile drone over Syria. That is, of course, very much the nature of modern warfare. High speed pass now. Pitch up for a half horizontal. Hopefully you all got to see it either in 